Vem. Ai, não deu pra mim. Interesting technique there, darling. It's <laughs> great! <laughs> Have some nice skin. Gotta throw some salt on this guy. The skin's gonna be incredible. He'll probably be the outside of a rifle case and lined with sheepskin on the inside. Absolutely beautiful. Put salt on him for a month in a black sack. Then cure him on a board once you take him out. Yeah. I've been collecting goat skins and deer skins and a couple of sheep skins all year long and have this haul that are now ready to take out because it's spring. It's dry enough for everything to get tacked out and start being ready to be So I'm going to take them out of their salt, shake the salt off and take them out. have a few different boards, big boards to tack as many skins as I can today out on and get them all drying, ready to be pumiced in a couple of days. And then the diagonal four as well. And do symmetrically. I'm going to do this bit of this side, and do this bit, that bit, that bit, and like that all the rest. So I had to take the board off the table and put it down to the floor to stop the rock. When I'm taking the in, I've done this blue boat. I'll be halfway. Secret one. Back tape them now. Finish the job. Got three skins tacked out now. Blue one, baby one, dear looking one. And I get started on another board with some deer skins.
like it. So they got and the throat is perfect for a nice skin. Two deer skins on this board. Three goats on that board. Yeah. So I have six skins tacked out, three deer, three goats. I'm gonna leave them standing like that because they drip out quite a bit of moisture. So I'll let them stand up there for a couple of hours, put them in the garage overnight and then over the next two days they should dry out enough to start being pumice and then I'll give them a really good rub.